Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod bundle. It's been a while since we've done one, but today we are checking out some more immersion mods to tweak the gameplay of Fallout 4 to make it even more realistic and to really immerse you in the world around you. So we're going to be looking specifically at gameplay mods today that are going to change the way that you actually play and enjoy Fallout 4. And I've got some really, really fun ones that I've been collecting over the past couple months. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with our first mod. And that's going to be the Animated Backpack Inventory by LK. Now, not too long ago, we did check out a functional backpack mod in one of the past immersive mod bundles. And this is going to build upon that mod and make it so that it is also animated. So now, whenever you open up your backpack to throw items in, it will actually play a little animation of you opening up said backpack. And it will also automatically throw you into sneak mode. So you're not out in the open. You can actually do it while in some sort of cover. The combination of these mods together is a really, really cool experience, not only adding that functional backpack that is separate from your own carry weight, which makes it a whole process to open it up and gather different items. So if you're carrying, say, a really heavy weapon or a heavy sniper, you can throw it into that backpack so that it's not weighing you down, but then you can pull it out of your backpack and now you can play a nice little animation and open up the inventory. Also using this mod with something like Fall Souls, a mod that we'll be talking about later in this video, makes for a really cool and realistic experience that is unlike anything in the vanilla game. I absolutely love the functional backpack mod, so having an extra little step with this animated backpack is super cool. The only issue with it at the moment is that the animated backpack mod only uses one model for the backpack, so while it is compatible with backpack mods like Backpacks of the Commonwealth, it's not actually going to use their model, so it may be a little immersion breaking in that regard. However, if you are set on a model that you really like, for example, let's say you really like the Woodsman backpack and that's all you're going to use, there is a tutorial on the mod page on how to switch the model out. Just be aware though, it will be that new model and only that new model. So if you ever change backpacks and you want the model to change, you're going to have to go in and manually change it every single time in the mod files. So be aware of that, but know that the customizability is there. Regardless, it's still a really cool and really impressive mod, and I have to say I like it a whole lot. Adds a really cool new inventory system and a nice little animation to go with it. So good work by LK and everybody else who worked on the partner mods for this whole shebang. Up next, we have another mod that I'm sure a lot of people have probably heard of, but in case you didn't, we're checking out Locky Bastard by Leia the Unknown, which is going to add an alternative lockpick system to Fallout 4, which is really, really cool. I know there's a lot of people out there who don't really like the lockpick minigames in RPGs like New Vegas, Fallout 4, or Skyrim, and this is going to provide a nice alternative that still builds upon the existing lockpick perk system. So essentially, whenever you find a lock that you are able to pick, there is a new option to either try to kick the door down or even shoot the lock off. And it's still going to build upon your character's ability with the lock pick perks. So essentially, you're using your knowledge of locks to know what kind of bullets it's going to take to break through it and if it's something that's even possible to be kicked down. So if you have, say, a novice locked door, you do have the opportunity to try to kick it if you don't want to waste bullets. Otherwise, you have the opportunity to shoot it and your chance to succeed while shooting it will even change depending on the caliber of the weapon, which is just really cool, really intuitive, and really realistic, which is super nice. Not only is this mod going to provide a nice, realistic alternative to lockpicking, it's also going to save you a lot of time. Rather than sitting there and playing the minigame, you're just going to click a button and you're going to shoot the lock off, and most of the time, it's going to work, because shooting a lock is typically going to break it. Really cool mod by Leia the Unknown adds a lot of functionality that I know a lot of you guys are probably going to enjoy. Now, our next mod is going to be NACX by Looping, which you may know as a visual and weather mod, but NACX actually has some additional features on top of that that make it a really, really cool gameplay enhancement that I'm going to be talking about today. So while we're talking about NACX as a whole, we're specifically focusing on some of the really neat visual features that are added to the gameplay. For example, one of the things added with NACX is the fact that when you get shot now, there is actually a visual response on your screen so that it looks like your character is actually in pain. So a nice, realistic, and very immersive effect. When you get shot, your screen will flash red as though your character is feeling some sort of immense pain. But this isn't the only effect that is added. There's more than just pain. There is a radiation effect. There are effects for chems. So if you start taking chems, the visuals on your screen are going to change drastically. Taking buff out made my screen start to turn gray, while taking psycho makes things super saturated. And taking a cocktail of chems like psycho, buff out, and jet, and medics all at the same time 
will make your screen start to do some crazy stuff, alternating between all of the effects over and over again, and things will start to get a little bit blurry and shaky as well. So while you're going to enjoy these buffs in-game, this is going to nerf them just slightly by adding some crazy visuals that make it a bit harder to function in the game, which I like a lot. Slight difficulty increase, but it adds some real immersion. On top of that, NACX is also going to add different effects for different apparel items. For example, if you throw on sunglasses, it will actually get darker. So if you have a really bright day and you don't want it to be super bright, throw some sunglasses on your character and it will literally get darker. I can't think of anything more immersive than that. Altogether, NACX is an incredible weather mod and you can pair it with some really awesome ENBs for some amazing graphics in your game, but having these extra visual effects in there for the gameplay as well is just a really, really cool selling point for this mod. So if you haven't tried NACL before, I'd highly recommend it. It's super cool and very, very immersive. Up next, we have a mod that I mentioned earlier known as Fall Souls Unpaused Game by Cassant. Now, this is going to make Fallout function a little bit like Dark Souls, specifically in the fact that all of your pause menus will no longer pause the game. If you need to pause the game to go and do a little bathroom break, you're going to want to quit to desktop because pausing will no longer do anything. You want to change the audio or change some visual settings, it doesn't matter. The enemies and the NPCs around you are still going to move and still going to attack you no matter what. Now, it's one thing to make the pause menu do this, but it also affects other menus. For example, if you throw on your Pip-Boy to switch out items, the world is still moving around behind you. So if you're switching out your armor or switching to a new weapon, be aware that enemies are still going to be shooting at you. So I highly recommend you start setting up some hotkeys. Additionally, like I said earlier, this works really, really well with that animated backpack inventory mod. Whenever you open up that backpack inventory with Fall Souls installed, it's not going to pause the game. So whenever you open it up to grab some new stuff, again, everything's still shooting at you, which is super cool and super realistic and definitely a nice little difficulty boost if you're trying to make Fallout a little bit harder. You're not going to be able to save yourself and throw on a bunch of chems and different weapons in the middle of combat now. Gunners, Feral Ghouls, Death Claws, whatever you're fighting are still going to be attacking you no matter what, so you are no longer safe with Fall Souls installed. Really cool mod for difficulty and definitely very realistic, so I like this one a lot. And finally, that's going to bring us to our last mod known as Uneducated Shooter, QE Leaning by Bingle. We talked about this mod a little bit when it came out, but it has been further refined and adds some really cool immersive features that help make Fallout 4 a bit more realistic. There are also some features that are prevalent in pretty much every modern shooter, so that's going to help bring Fallout 4 up to modern times. First of all, this mod is going to add the ability to lean your character at will. Even though there is sort of a lean mechanic in the vanilla game, it's more of a peak, I guess. This mod is going to allow you to lean in either direction whenever you want, be it in cover, out of cover, if you're just goofing around, doesn't matter. If you press E, you're going to lean to the right. If you press Q, you're going to lean to the left. You can do this in first person. You can do this in third person. You can do it while crouching, while you're running with weapons equipped or unequipped. You will be able to lean whenever you want. Nice little quality of life feature. However, there's more that this mod actually does beyond leaning. Another thing that it does is it adds inertia to all of the weapons in the game. Whether it's a modded weapon, a vanilla weapon, just about anything is going to have much more realistic inertia. So as you swing your weapon around, it's going to have a bit of a delay as it catches up to the rest of your screen, which is pretty cool. You see this in a lot of modern games like Call of Duty or Battlefield, and now it's available in Fallout 4 as well. And it just works. No animations necessary, it just works. And then the final thing that's included in this mod, which is a very, very nice quality of life feature, is the ability to actually crouch under environments. Now, what you're seeing on screen may look very normal because it's featured in every single game. In any other game, if there's a small area you need to get into and you crouch, you'll be able to fit into it. But in Fallout 4, that wasn't the case. If you would try to crouch under something, crouching didn't actually do anything to the hitbox of your character. You would still basically be as tall as you were, even though you're crouching. But this mod fixes that, so now you can actually crouch under items. In first person or third person, again, it just works. Making this a really, really awesome mod to have installed for a lot of features that make the movement so much better in this game. So with that, I think we're going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found at least one new mod to put into your load order. All of these are excellent, excellent gameplay mods, and I'd highly recommend throwing in not only one, but all of these mods if you enjoy them. If you did, they'll all be linked down in the description below, along with Xbox links if there are any available. A lot of the mods today do rely on the script extender, so not every single one is going to be on Xbox, but if it is, again, it'll be linked down in the description below. 
With that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating. Consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos just like this. Big shout out to all of my patrons for supporting every single video, and a special thank you to Youth RC, Helljumper2077, Indecisive Wolf, Jackie Noid, Captain Chaos, and Feed. All of you guys are so generous. Thank you so much for all of your continued support. If you want to try out the Patreon, it will be linked down in the description below, but it is completely optional. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace!